So how was your weekend? How's your day? Why didn't they get the right kind of donuts? I'm tired of donuts. We should get cupcakes. Billionaire Mark Cuban may say he's not a real estate guy, but his properties tell another story. The business tycoon doesn't move around as much as you think, but he does own more than one mansion. Back in 1999, Mark bought his first mega mansion in Dallas, Texas, where he still resides with his family to this day. He's also recently treated himself to a fancy home in Laguna Beach, and in this video, we'll be giving you all the details. There's no reason to be greedy. I didn't need more. I just needed to keep what I had. Mark Cuban is an entrepreneur, TV personality, investor, and much more, including owner of the NBA's Dallas Mavericks team, co-owner of 2929 Entertainment, and chairman of Access TV. You probably know him well from his role as one of the main investors on ABC Shark Tank. Because there's no chance of you making money on this. Worst I'm presentation out. ever. I'm out. The tech mogul became a billionaire on paper back in 1999 when he and his co-founder sold Broadcast.com to Yahoo for $5.7 billion in stock. Then early 2000, Mark cashed in those shares for reported 10-figure paydays. I hate meetings. Nobody likes meetings. He's earned his fortunes through a lifetime of business deals, his ownership of the Dallas Mavericks, investments made on the show Shark Tank, and more. So now there's me and you. All things considered, these days Forbes estimates Mark's net worth at a $4.6 billion, landing him among the richest people in America. He's come a long way since living in what he called a dumpy apartment, staying up late eating chicken wings and teaching himself to code. In fact, the very first things Mark bought when he made it big in 1999 included a spontaneous party trip to Vegas, Vegas, an island vacation, and his massive mansion in Dallas, Texas, where you might be surprised to know he still lives in. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at business mogul and billionaire Mark Cuban's properties and where he calls home. He may not have as many estates as his billionaire buddies, but the ones he owns in Texas and California are impressive to say the least. You guys requested a video on Mark and his life of luxury, so I'm excited to give you all the details. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed to ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Like I mentioned, one of Mark's first huge purchases back in 1999 was his family mansion in Dallas, Texas, which he bought for $13 million, but some sources report it cost him closer to $17 million. The place is enormous, 24,000 square feet. I don't even, still to this day, don't know how many bedrooms or bathrooms. It's located in Preston Hollow, which is an exclusive and super wealthy neighborhood in Dallas. I'd say come to Dallas because it's friction free, it's really quick, simple, and easy to start a company. There, there's just a different work ethic here. Other famous residents include the likes of former U.S. President George W. Bush and pro golfer Jordan Spieth. Mark's single-family home is fit for his billionaire status, considering it spans 23,676 square feet inside and sits on seven acres of land. The mansion was built in 1997, so just shortly before he moved in. There are 10 beds and 16 baths, and it's designed in a French chateau style. As you drive into the gates, you'll find a large multi-car garage to the right, which looks as big as a house. I remember looking at cars and thinking, ah. I want this car. Fortunately, I kept my junker. In fact, Mark already had a large attached garage, but it wasn't enough, so he added two detached ones for almost 5,000 square feet of garage space. Then the main house wraps around a large driveway with an elegant fountain front and center. For additional space, there's a three-story guest house at the back of his property. Although I don't know how many rooms are inside, you can tell from the photos it's spacious and looks more like a family home than a guest quarters. The inside of Mark's mansion remains a bit of a mystery and the businessman likes to keep things private. What we do know is as soon as he bought it, he added a state-of-the-art sound system right away. We also know the home has a total of five wet bars throughout, five fireplaces, and an expansive wine cellar, making it perfect to entertain. Mark converted one of the many bedrooms into his home office, naturally. It features several desks, a few computers, and actually a lot of clutter. Although the office may look like a mess, he still claims it's his favorite room in the entire house, and it's where he spends most of his time when he's home. I got married, effectively. I had no furniture. 
and we played wiffle ball in my ballroom. Outside on the grounds of Mark's mega mansion, there's an equally huge backyard. Aside from the well-manicured lawn and landscaping, there are plenty of other features. There's an in-ground swimming pool and spa that sits in front of a large cabana, a basketball court, and even a full-size tennis court. I doubt Mark will be selling this family mansion anytime soon, but its value these days is estimated at a whopping $19 million and considered the ninth most expensive home in the Dallas area. You know, there were rooms I had still haven't been in in years. I still have the house. It also spans a large portion of the entire block it sits on and looks more like a five-star hotel than a family home. Although most of Mark's free time is spent at his Dallas residence, more recently he found it was time to invest in a getaway property. You know, it's just, it's just a family decision. And what better spot than sunny California? Moved out to LA to live on the beach and just be retired. In December 2018, Mark bought this gorgeous villa as a vacation home located in Laguna Beach, California, more specifically in the exclusive Montage Residences community. It was the highest sale in the neighborhood that year. According to the Montage website, homes at Montage Laguna Beach provide a rare opportunity to fully embrace the Montage lifestyle. In the comfort and intimacy of a stunning home, families can enjoy the resort's exceptional setting and amenities while creating memories that will last for generations. So his home basically doubles as a hotel thanks to all of the resort style amenities residents are given access to. Some of these include concierge services, housekeeping, room service, and a spa. The house is located right on the coast of Southern California, of course on the ocean, and it set Mark back a reported $19 million. The beach house spans 7,867 square feet of living space inside and is decorated in an airy and bright California style with an indoor-outdoor vibe. There are six bedrooms, some with beach-themed decor, and 10 bathrooms. From the photos, the home seems contemporary and modern while still looking comfortable. It was built in 2010 and has all the updates you could imagine, including features like full built-in systems to easily control everything from the lighting, ambiance, as well as audio-visual devices and cameras. On the main level, mahogany and glass doors blend with the walls, opening up the common living spaces to views of the ocean. There are also high ceilings, adding to the airy feel of the place. The main kitchen has white cabinets, marble countertops, and a breakfast bar. Not to mention if you'd prefer to dine outside, there's a full outdoor kitchen too with a grill and a sink. Mark's Laguna Beach home is well equipped to host guests wherever you are on the property. All the bedrooms are welcoming with attached spa-like bathrooms and the master suite may just be the nicest. Here, one entire wall of the room opens right up to the beautiful outdoor space. The private home office opens up to the outdoors too, but if it's anything like Mark's workspace in his main home, I don't think it's been kept as organized as a listing photo. Well, I had to figure out every which way in order to do it. Other features inside his beach house include a media room, a library, a home gym, and a home theater. Downstairs is another spacious living area with three TV screens, a full bar, and a wraparound sofa. Not to mention on the same level of the home, there's a wine cellar with room for hundreds of bottles. This room seems like a fancier version of a man cave. Although you can take on the views of the Pacific Ocean from inside the house, outside is equally impressive. Aside from that outdoor kitchen, there's more furniture on the patio for lounging and dining. There's a private pool on the deck, but Mark and his family also have access to the three resort pools as well if they prefer. So now we've taken a look at billionaire Mark Cuban and his properties, including his main family home in Dallas he's owned since 1999, and his more recent spot in Laguna Beach. For someone with that kind of fortune, you'd think he would own more real estate across the globe, but it's just not so much his thing, I guess. On the other hand, Mark has made a few other luxury purchases only someone with that type of money could buy, which make up for his lack of properties. Like, the man owns a Gulfstream V business jet and it costs him more than his homes, a whopping $40 million. To this day, his private jet holds the Guinness world record for the biggest purchase conducted over the internet. Although it sounds crazy, Mark called the plane one of the smartest purchases he's ever made, saying, It's obviously brutally expensive, but time is the one asset we simply don't own. It saves me hours and hours. These days it said he owns two private jets and a yacht. Alright, so that's all I got on business tycoon Mark Cuban and his mansions in Texas and California. I know we couldn't see much of his family home, but which did you like better? Although the Dallas place is much bigger than the vacation home, it's hard not to love the modern and open concept vibe of the place in Laguna Beach. I mean, it has the amenities of a five-star hotel and opens right up to the ocean. Be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on over on Instagram if you haven't already and you want to chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!